Rebecca. Duckle fish is named given to a kind of fish which is called the Gararufa. Other nicknames include the nibble fish, the Congo fish, and some even call doctor fishing. In non-medical context, these fishes are called reddish log sucker. Crazy, right? I bet you're all confused. Basically, these fishes are famous fishes that are used all around the world for fish therapy. So stay tuned and stick around as I'll show you in depth about this fish therapy. Stay tuned. This Gararufa fishes breed and live in the wild river basins of the northern and central Middle East, mainly in Turkey, Syria, Iraq and Iran. It is legally protected from commercial exploitation in Turkey due to concerns of overharvesting for export. Nevertheless, it has been spotted all around the world for its benefits. They are known for treatment of skin diseases. So, as for my fish therapy, I went to this important fish bar located in Tropicana where they will give me my very first fish therapy. Industry, right? So, what I see is um, something very different. I think a lot of people in the world have not seen this. And I, at that time, I did not think about business um, opportunity at all, but it was just something wow, well, crazy, you know. And I, uh, when I got to know that the Japanese started it for the commer commercially and opened it to the public, and I just uh, wondered I can start something like this in Malaysia too, because I seen this and I want it here too. Yeah. So I'm about to do my fish spa therapy now. God bless me. <laughs> <laughs> Since I was so frantically wanting to get out of the water and never to look back, Joe assures me that this is practically normal, as some humans' body tolerance towards this kind of nature therapy are utmost unacceptable. Oh, usually f many of our customers, for the uh, first few, few um, five to ten minutes, probably these uh, customers will scream and shout. <laughs> everywhere and, uh, and actually um, it was a fun, definitely a fun thing for them but um, after all it will be much more into a relaxation kind of uh, therapy yeah. These Gararufa fishes are like comb fishes they only consume the affected and dead areas of the skin leaving the healthy skin to grow but these bars are not meant as a treatment option only as a temporary cure for symptoms and patients usually revisit the spas every few months for a longer lasting healthier skin. Fish spa happened is all because of this fish named Gararufa. It has been scientifically proven by many well-known scientists like um, uh, Oxford University and uh, Turkish universities that it has written a white paper about the fish, how it cures the people from skin problems like psoriasis and eczema. But eventually, we are more doing into more purifications for people who have dry skins, rough skins, or yeah, any pores. Eventually, this fish can help them to remove and also improve their skin's conditions. These fishes breed and live in hot springs in many parts of the world. They live in types of water where it is warm enough and yet decently protected. In Kangao, um, Turkey, they use hot spring water. Okay, while well, in uh, this place, we use natural technology, change natural water using, using UV and ozones to break the molecules of the water and change it into a spring water. Even though I didn't manage to get those tickle buds off me, I certainly find this fish therapy a worthwhile fun. Rebecca L, the star, Malaysia.